AI companies are literally in a civil war at the moment as they look to outperform each other. The latest big update comes from Elon Musk's Rock 1.5 chatbot, which is attempting to close the gap with GPT-4 in performance. The model can process contexts of up to 128,000 tokens within its window, which is a massive 16-fold increase in memory capacity of the LLMs. And believe it or not, Elon Musk is open sourcing it. But some folks might might be thinking to themselves, is this just another half-baked project, or is Grok 1.5 really as good as advertised? We are going to be looking at Grok 1.5's standout features, infrastructure, and everything in between. After Elon Musk announced that Grok 1.5 was going to be accessible to users from the first week of April, I decided to dig a little deeper, and my curiosity led me to some interesting things, which I couldn't fully wrap my head around. Not long ago, XAI made Grok's first AI model open source, after Elon Musk sued OpenAI alongside its co-founder Sam Altman for breaching the initial contract of remaining open source. Now, Elon Musk is ready to release Grok 1.5 for all X premium users, and the first thing that comes to mind has to do with the features and updates that the new Grok promises. So, let's get into all of it. I've broken down the key features of Grok 1.5 into four parts. Grok 1.5 comes with superior coding and math skills, surpassing its predecessor Grok 1. Taking a look at some of the key improvements in Grok, we see increased scores on math and GSM 8K benchmarks, and more enhanced human eval benchmark scores. The model more than doubled Grok 1's score on the math benchmark, and scored over 10% higher on the human eval test of programming language generation and problem-solving abilities. Just by comparing it with its predecessor, it's easy to notice the significant step up from the previous version as we've highlighted on the screen. But it doesn't just end there. Grok 1.5 gives other AI models a run for their money. When benchmarked against Mistral Larch, Claude 2, Claude 3 Opus, GPT-4 and a few others, here's how it performed. Grok 1.5 outdid all the models in Human Eval. On top of that, it beat Claude 3 Sonne in MMLU and Math and was also better than GPT-4 in Math. However, it fell just short against Gemini Pro 1.5 in most benchmarks. The second key feature of Grok 1.5 is its ability to process contexts of up to 128,000 tokens within its context window. In addition, it retains more conversational context, enabling us to get smarter responses from intricate prompts. For those who are like, what does that even mean, I'm going to explain. Tokens are basically the fundamental units of input, as they enable AI models to understand and process textual data in natural language processing tasks such as text generation and classification. With its expanded context, Grok has an increased memory capacity of up to 16 times the previous context length. This enables it to utilize information from substantially longer documents. The Grok 1.5 model can handle longer and more complex prompts while maintaining its ability to follow instruction. The graph on the screen attempts to visualize the model's ability to recall information from its context window. As we can see, the x-axis is the length of the context window, and the y-axis is the relative position of the fact to retrieve from the window, and then we have the color code on the right. The Grok 1.5 is able to handle longer and more intricate prompts without losing any proficiency in following instructions, even as its context window expands. The third feature worth knowing is the Grok 1.5 model's unique language traits. The company is introducing advancements to enhance its versatility across various domains. The last feature we want to talk about is Grok's advanced infrastructure. We already know that large language models require efficient and adaptable infrastructure, but one of the challenges they gave is having expansive GPU clusters to ensure reliability and continuous operation. So what's so special about Grok 1.5 here? The Grok 1.5 model has a distributed training framework and leverages JAX, Rust, and Kubernetes. With a sophisticated training stack like this, developers 
Ideas can effectively prototype concepts and train novel architectures at scale without much hassle. The XAI Custom Training Orchestrator is also able to automatically identify and remove problematic nodes from the training job, while also optimizing checkpointing, data loading, and training job restarts to minimize downtime. This invariably helps to maximize uptime and efficiency. With these features come certain benefits to using Block 1.5. If you have a short attention span, you are pressed for time, or you simply just have a lot on your plate, then I'm pretty sure this benefit will come in handy. Grok 1.5 helps to summarize lengthy texts, meetings, and the company says it will probably do the same thing for replies and threads on the app. But it doesn't end there. Grok 1.5 goes a step further to offer quick insights as well as time-saving solutions for document analysis. Essentially, Grok 1.5 will enhance productivity and make certain tasks less boring. The model is also going to be giving us a crash course in creative writing. On a more serious note, by leveraging improved reasoning and memory, Rock 1.5 can help with creative writing tasks, which is going to be huge for content creators. Perhaps one of the most obvious benefits has to do with enhanced math and coding skills. Folks like me who simply can't perform well in math to save our lives will be the most grateful for this one. Grok 1.5 excels in tasks requiring complex calculations, and on top of that, it helps with customized code generation. But again, someone watching this video might ask, why is any of these a big deal in the first place? Aren't we doing just fine with some of the other AI models? Well, there's an answer for that as well. What historically sets XAI's Grok models apart from other generative AI models is its ability to respond to questions about topics that would be typically off-limits to other models. These include the more controversial political and woke ideas. The model also answers questions with a rebellious streak, as Elon Musk has described it, and outright rude language if requested to do so. Now, here's the thing. We aren't quite clear on the specific changes that Grok 1.5 will bring in these areas, as the company didn't say so in its blog post. The company has mentioned that it will introduce several new features in the coming days, as it aims to continue enhancing the AI model's capabilities, so we can only hope that with its imminent launch, Grok 1.5 will deliver as promised. But things are lucking up with regard to XAI's future trajectory at the moment, because in just under a year, Grok has matched the competitiveness of the big boys in the LLM market, and by leveraging leveraging X.com's data, the X team will be looking to make Grok an integral part of the company's software and applications. More so, the fact that it is open source, which means that the model is going to be freely available for the public to use, modify, and distribute, it's safe to say that its wider access and collaboration will be great for the company going forward. The truth is that it is always going to be difficult to predict how any of these features and results will pan out in actual usage, because commonly used AI benchmarks, which assess performances in math for example, often perform average at best when capturing how the average person interacts with models, but that could very well change once Grok.5 enters full gear. But one of the most frustrating things about Grok is that it is not easily accessible. You have to pay a premium for it and also get verified on X, Twitter. This subscription costs around $5 to $10 for individuals and a lot higher for companies and organizations. And also there are geographical restrictions in certain countries all over the world, which means that not everyone is going to get access to the AI, at least for now. It will probably take another couple of months before the company rolls out Grok 1.5 to a wider audience. But not to worry, we are going to be on the lookout for feedback from the earliest users of Grok 1.5. The Grok 1.5 model's advancements reflect a possible industry breakthrough in AI technology, and I'm super excited for the future. If you feel the same way too, please hit that subscribe button. And if you missed out on our last upload, don't sweat it. I have it showing on the screen right here for you.